Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I am Adam McCola, he's Stephen Ass, and we are here for a good old little chit chat today, ain't we, Steve? Yeah. This is good. It's good, isn't it? This is going out on Christmas. I don't know. Maybe. It's a Christmas tree. It's only going on Soul Show. Probably weekend. Weekend before Christmas. Weekend before Christmas. So it's the weekend is before that a film? Christmas. Or is that, that start, sounds like the start of a story. There has to be a film called I The Weekend Before fucking Christmas. Hate Christmas. Isn't it? There has to be. Why do you hate Christmas? I think we're going to move on. <laughs> I think it's at least one of the best pagan festivals. Probably right. Um, you know, whether you're religious or not, celebrate it. Brings families together. Is that the day that St. Gifts. Nicholas defeated Darth Vader and gave birth to baby Jesus? <laughs> Is that how it went down? Allegedly, okay. according to Steve. Um, but yeah, we're here to have a little <coughs> chat about all things Manchester United and whatever I'm else pops well up. well ill, by the way. So ill. Like, I just literally want a Lucasade and took it in. Devo. What flavour Lucasade? Orange have? Lucasade. You don't like the original? I do like the original, but I'm, I'm going to dip the The sugar tax has killed Lucasade, hasn't it? Does it? Yeah. Never noticed. Especially the, especially the original. Just tastes like flat original. Bastards. Mm. Oh, did they take the sugar out? Yeah. Oh, uh, right. What's the, what's the worst thing that sugar tax ruined for you? When you're ordering something from somewhere and they've got all your my, your diet and your maxes and all that sort of stuff, and then it's like 17p more for the one you really want, and you're like... No, but what product has been... Like, for me, cold, cold pops will never be the same. I've never noticed. I haven't noticed if anything's changed. Do you just have sugar in your cheeks? <laughs> to make it up I think so I think I have that many Red Bull I can't even taste sugar anymore um, <clears throat> something that would be sweet for United is a few signings this summer you see what good I did there good segue you see what I did good there good segue oh my god why are you trying to keep this on track um, I don't know I think the people at home um, did this you weekend like before Christmas okay we'll let it go off track every now and then for a Christmas present I'll kind of stay on topic and also because I don't want to talk a lot because my throat is what killing. would the perfect Christmas present for Manchester United be Winning every game? No, 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 no. Oh, 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 um, This year's league being declared null and void? If there was some sort of, like, you had Klopp Someone's juicing up all his players, into the constitution music. of the Premier League and ruled that VAR usage is illegal um, under the rules or something like that, so they're going to have to completely null and void all results and we'll start again. That'd be all That'd right, be wouldn't good. it? Yep. I think, yeah, that would, that would be a good start. But... Can I have that? No. You, you can. Okay. Um, but I was thinking like a player, like, you know, a guy with two arms, two legs, going to kick the ball for Man United. Any player that you would want to see signed? What position is the most important for United Midfield. to fill? Midfield. So the rumours of a... <clears throat> now, I, I say this knowing that you can't sign more than one player. Well, uh, other, other, clubs would, 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 other clubs are allowed. Would, would have you believe otherwise. I literally think we work on one transfer and sit there staring at the phone, waiting for it to be finished, and then go to, we've got another phone for another transfer, and then we literally start work on it. Joe, rather than like... He throws his phones away. Mul multiple. He has burner cells. He just probably. keeps for every, every transfer, he'll just chuck some away. It's probably good practice. Um, um, it looks like we could be getting into bed with Rayola again, though, um, if you believe the hype. I was having a chat to our friend Joe this morning about this, and I was like... I know he's not his agent. Jesus Joe or no. excess Joe. Yeah, that guy. All right, Jesus Joe. Jesus Joe on today. Being Happy his birthday, birthday next week. <laughs> um, and I was saying, right, Raiola supposedly isn't Haaland's agent. But if you Google Raiola Haaland, every single he's outlet in the world though, or something like says, that. He's, it says he's his agent, right? So he's clearly got his fingers in the pie somewhere. I just don't know to what level he's got his finger in the pie. <laughs> fingers yeah. in the pie. Yeah, don't worry about it. I've heard um, Haaland. So... <sighs> If you want to do the dance with, with Haaland, I think Paul Pogba's name comes up somewhere. <laughs> and I think in the negotiation, like, well, maybe my client doesn't want to come and join yours because maybe you're not letting Paul Pogba leave. And I think it might open a door for Pogba to leave like he clearly wants to. I don't uh, know if that's... In January? How it's happening. I, 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 I think know. Pogba will leave, like I've always said, next summer. I don't see him leaving in January. Well, his contract's only till 21, isn't it? So if he doesn't leave by summer, it doesn't sound like he's going to sign an extension. Well, he was offered an extension last summer. And didn't even negotiate it. We yeah, believe so. To. What does that tell you? So, so he's going at some point. I think that's summer's the maximum time to cash. Would you, would you rather that though? If someone said like, "I'm not going to sign a deal because I'm not going to stay," rather than sign a deal for new more money and then still do one anyway, because we've seen footballers yeah. do that in the past. Yeah, we have. And Joe, you know, I'm like, I've criticised him for for not coming out and quashing the rumours, and he probably hasn't because there's probably some truth to them. To be fair, as well. 
Would the club want him to come out and say, I do want to leave, actually? I know he said it before, but... It does lower the price if he does exactly. that. So the club wouldn't want him to do that anyway. No, Unless he was going to come I'm out saying, and say, I'm staying. Out, yeah, I'm saying come out and say, I'm staying. The fact he hasn't, I think, speaks volumes. Because he's had his brothers at every opportunity come and saying he wants to go. His agent has said he wants to go. He himself said he wants to go. And people are like, he's our best player, show him some respect. No, I, I'm happy to show him respect for what he's done as a United player. And I think he's been underrated in terms of what he's done for United. But you can't deny that the guy's attitude is just wrong. Like, and yes, he probably will leave and we'll probably get a load of money for him. But I'm disappointed. I think I would be disappointed that we haven't got more out of Paul Pogba. But I think it'd also be fair for him to feel disappointed that United haven't done more while he's been here. Okay, would that he, be fair? Has he busted a gut for us? No, but would that be fair? Maybe. When he was come, I, I, I believe he would have been sold some promises that haven't been fulfilled. Maybe. And then doesn't that lie... Doesn't the problem lie in there somewhere that we're buying players that are almost being sold dreams at this club? Yeah, because we're probably selling them a dream we can't necessarily fulfil without spending a billion. You know, we're probably saying, yeah, we're going to get back, start competing for a league. But are we? I mean, we came second, but did we compete for the league? No, we never competed for the league. I think we lost against City in September and it was pretty much done from there, wasn't it? No, so I think... Yes, I, I can empathise to a certain degree, but I'm sorry, mate, you haven't done what Ronaldo did when he wanted to leave. There's been a massive, clear difference. And for me, he was our player of the year last year. It wasn't Luke Shaw. Oh, yeah, definitely. He was easily... Uh, 15 goals, uh, 10 assists or something like that. That was outrageous for me. I think I think he's going. That's clear. I think he'll go in the summer. I think he'll be a disappointment um, all round from, you know, fans to him, him maybe with the club and that. You know everything else. And if I the money's reinvested, I'm, I'm not over. That's the problem, isn't it? Because <clears throat> there's no guarantee. It Don't will believe be. it will be. No. Um, because even if they replace Pogba, they won't have replaced Herrera or no. And it, it is the there. thing. I don't know if there's a player that we can get because there's, there's players out there better than Paul Pogba. There's not many, but there's players out there better than him. But can we get them? I'm not sure about that. And when you're looking at the team <clears throat> we're building at the moment. It's almost like he'd be the perfect one to just chuck in there at the minute, isn't it? Brilliant, yeah. Um, that's why for the rest of the season, it probably does make more sense to keep him than to let him go. Because what we would say is, even when he wanted to go in the summer, he never, you know, kicked up a fuss. Not, Lukaku style or not, you know, anything no, not, like that. Not seemingly, no. I've always thought he'd be gone next summer. But I've always thought that while he's actually been here, I don't, I've never found him a problem. Like everyone's always trying to make him out the problem, and now they're trying to do the same with Martial, which I find. Well, is Jose incredible. called him a virus, but, and I but knew, Jose was the bigger, vi bigger virus at the club. But I was hearing from the people inside the dressing room actually what Pogba's doing is uniting all the players, and that's what I think. I think generally he's a good. I think everyone in that dressing room would look up to him. Good. A lot of them would look up to him, too. especially when you look at the, the age of the, of the players at the moment. And I think Angel Gomez, I, I know you've probably got more of an insight on this, but I feel Angel Gomez could be someone that's looked at his early days and thought, maybe that's for me. Um, but I think actually, contrary to, to what most would believe, I think he's actually a good presence around the club. He just hasn't, hasn't been there recently <clears throat> for injury or whatever. And then there's a question of, if he really wanted to be here, would he have got back soon? And there's always that question with players. Um, but he's missed games for France, and I think in a Euro 2020 year, he's not gonna he's not gonna do that just because he's unhappy at his club. No, and I ultimately, don't think he's if he not performs injured, well for United, we know he can go next summer. If he performs well, his wages are higher. Everything's higher for him. Yeah, yeah. He, so he's, a, he's an attraction. He again. benefits more from playing. Yeah, and playing well. So I, I find that crazy. Raiola's other client, the one that we initially started this conversation about, Erling Haaland. Now, you had a theory Not necessarily about his client. The, the Instagram story. Yeah. I and and, and then once lemonade. I checked it, it made sense. So you explain. I'll explain. <clears throat> this picture, which you'll see on the screen now, thanks to producer Nick, um, of Erling Haaland signing a Manchester United shirt. So this was Leaked released online, I'm by... Ready. Um, no, it was released on, in a Facebook group, one of the Norwegian supporters groups first. Okay. Then put onto Reddit. What was the caption on that? Because I've seen the screenshot, but this I didn't know This is going to get people talking, I think. Oh, this is something to write about, I think was the, okay. the translation of it. So that was how it was. Um, now, that was all taken at um, a fan event, or a charity fan event that he was part of. Um, is it just the weekend or yesterday? I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure. Recently. <laughs> So what that picture came out, there was probably other stuff going on while he was there, but he signed a United shirt 
and then he used that photograph on his Instagram story with five other ones which are so obviously on. posed. The video, the picture leaked before it was on his Instagram story. Yes. So that's a, that's an important thing to say here, right? Correct. So his the picture leaked on Facebook, on Reddit, <coughs> on social media. Now, a couple of hours later, or maybe he, an hour later, it wasn't a lot of time between the two. He posts the same picture and of him signing that United shirt. Five of us. In a different tracksuit, in a different room, with no shoes on. And he don't even look like he's signing the other ones as well. A different, per the same pen. Yeah. And no, they're all pen. shirts that he would have owned yeah, from so playing he's got against a, players or... He's got a, an, a Red Bull one, he's got a Leeds one, he's got a Burn Napoli. one. Napoli. A, a <laughs> Napoli one. <clears throat> what was the other one? I can't remember. So he's got five shirts there. Mulder. That, yes, Mulder. Um, so where he came from, um, his first breakout club, his current club, a team he's just played in the Champions League. Team he supports, Leeds. And then, yeah, the team he supports. Have you seen or, his quote? His dream is that to Leeds... So in the Premier League, you're like, oh, you're gonna to have to renege that, mate, when you get it, if you get it, because I think it's happening. Do you think it's happening? <clears throat> yeah, I think the way. Do you think it's a transfer that should happen? Like, I know people are saying, a lot of people have been saying recently. Let's calm down a bit. You know, he's just it's just one good season. He, he could still prove to be a dud. Is he's that had, unfair? Uh, yeah, I think he's had more than one good season. And I would also say, if you could go back in time and sign a 19-year-old Lewandowski, would you? Hmm. I, I think. Well, imagine people saying. Oh, Wayne Rooney's not done much. This is, this is a dud. Yeah, so I think that he he might be a dud. He might not. Is the release clause really twenty mil or around? Supposedly, that? what we're going to get him for if we get him is more like seventy mil. So I don't know what all that's about. I mean, it was in places like the Athletic. It was in like legit places that said. Is that release maybe clause. a release clause that exists with the Red Bull Group? Then maybe possibly. Hmm. Because they're basically the same company, aren't they? Mm. And there's um, been rumours of him <coughs> going uh, potentially to Leipzig, right? Supposedly they can't afford his wage demands. And if you think of Timo Werner's possibly leaving Leipzig... Makes a lot of sense. Um, so, I can see the argument for people going, we don't need a striker. Well... We do. We probably do. But we probably don't need no, a 19-year-old one. That's the thing. That's the sticking point. But I think when you look at it, when Martial got injured this year, it was blatantly oh, obvious. Oh, that's where we... We well don't want to see Rashford going in to the central positions. Really, yeah. I think he's looking very good on the left and that's his position. But I think even if you sign Haaland, okay, we've got Haaland, Martial that can play in this central position. At the moment, it looks like Greenwood's going to be used from the wide areas. So you'd say Danny James and Greenwood, Rashford. If you add another one in, an attacker, Sancho's, I don't know, someone. It's a hell of a forward lineup. It, but it's, you need that depth, right? Of course Surely. you do. Our depth's horrendous at if the it, moment. If a player in that, if, if, if let's say Rashford or Martial or Danny James, He's getting upset at the fact that these players are joining. They shouldn't be at Manchester United. Yeah. There's always been, I mean, who better than Solskjaer himself to be like, I dealt with competition. There's four of us going for two spots. Mm. Who, who scored the winners in the final? The two subs. You can all play your part. But I think the important thing people are getting lost at is the transfer market isn't Tesco. You can't walk in and just get what you want. Sometimes there's very long negotiations. Sometimes there's the fact players don't want to join us, which we have to accept is probably a reality of United at the moment, with us only being in the Europa League, etc. You can only get what you can get. You can't get what doesn't want to come to but you. But the profile of his... Hang on, hang on, let me finish. Sorry, go on. People saying that we need a midfielder. I 1,000% agree with you. But are you going to not get a midfielder? Because... Or are you going to not get a striker because you haven't found a midfielder yeah, yeah, yeah. or if if this was a guy that was on your list to complete your squad and he's available and he's up for it why not get him and keep working on the midfield it goes back to that whole thing of you can sign more than one player at once isn't it well, apparently um, I've heard rumours of that yeah, yeah. Um, the thing I was going to say was to that point <clears throat> is when you look at some players maybe not coming because in the Europa League Haaland doesn't have to worry about that even like Martial, Rashford, Daniel James, they don't have to, because if their success is, we will be in the Champions <coughs> League. If they're yeah. success at the club, we will be in the Champions League. Yeah. And I think- I think we're gonna be in the Champions the right League It's the right profile of player that, that can drag us up. I think, I, uh, I rip Champions League football off unless we won the Europa League a month ago. Are you changing that? Are you holding in a yawn? Is that what you're doing? Before Everton, I thought we could do it. Um, post Everton, Depends how January goes because United could be very capable of putting like a, an outrageous run, a bit like Oli, like, like January last year. We could put another run like that together and be comfortably top four. Back at the wheel. Um, yeah, we're allowed to sing the song again then, I think. But we're also capable of drawing seven games 
and absolutely missing out. That's probably why we're not going to get top four, right? Because of days like that. But it isn't about us being good either. Chelsea have, have hit a skid. Arsenal are shit. Tottenham... Say that again. Tottenham, Arsenal, Arsenal are shit. <laughs> well shit. Uh, proper well shit. Well shit. Proper. Um, and then you've got... You've got Tottenham that could be a threat because as I've said all along in this thing, that team should have been doing well better than the 14th that Pochettino had it in. Still very leaky. Yeah, but it's, it's got exactly what Jose likes. Mm. Some experienced heads in and around there. Mm. So I think they're going to be a very credible threat into the top four. I think Chelsea could probably sneak in there. Um, obviously, it's only going to be one of them because I'm pretty sure well, City, Liverpool, City Leicester, Leicester wrapped up. I would think so, unless City go way off the rails. So we're but looking I think at that's Chelsea, well United, and Tottenham for the last place. You, Fourth place. Arsenal. You're not expecting Arteta to possibly. Nope. His is going to be a long term. Yeah, I think Wolves could finish above Arsenal. Where's that? But didn't we say Arsenal seventh anyway? So it'd <laughs> well, be he said probably Sheffield Liverpool, United. probably Leicester, probably City, probably Spurs. If we're being honest, then us in fifth, Chelsea in sixth. Mm. Arsenal in seventh. Seven foot fucking best for Arsenal. Unless someone has a right fall off. Um, so Harlan, could be is it, coming out. for the people at home, calculated guess, because I'm assuming you don't have insight I on, have this one, on. on this one. I have nothing on this one. I have a bit on You don't Gomez. have Raola's number. No, um, but um, I know what... I, I, I don't want to no, know no, I'm gonna give you someone some. who knows his no, number. No, no. That's just... no, no, no. Well, it is someone who knows his number. Um, <laughs> somebody who knows him quite well and has <laughs> met with him who is also a football agent with big profile players at United. Um, I was speaking to him last night and I was like, I think you need to go and have dinner with Raiola when he's here in January making that deal. And he went, oh yeah, why is that? I went, so you can take me. <laughs> and he went, why do you want to see him? And I went, just to boil all the piss in the world when I take a photo with him. <laughs> yeah, can we um, get an interview with Raiola? He'd love that, wouldn't he? I don't know if he would like He'd an love interview attention. Does he speak English? I don't even know if he speaks English. Unle Unless, like, from Zlatan's book, he's a very interesting character, Raiola. Um, likes his pizza. We'd go on. Likes it, yeah, yeah. A couple of fat guys that like pizza. That sounds like a good night. <laughs> so, Erling Haaland. I have Steve's no info. prediction. Steve's um, prediction. Signed. With a capital dick. <coughs> I think he'll be signed him. I don't think Ollie comes out in that press conference the day after or two days after meeting him. Like, I know what he's going to do. Producing he knows Nick. what he's going to do. Um, Roll that VT, title. baby. Title is uh, Harland's done. Official. Um, I, th I think we'd probably get him. Um, I don't how, think will we change the way we play? Or no, will, he, will, think, he, uh, will he provide us with that plan B that we need, an alternative? No, I think you can. I, I think 4 4 2 is probably going to be what we see. I think. Rashford on the left. Daniel James on the right. Yeah, Rashford. Martial, Harland. And, you know, you could. Two deep line midfielders. It takes like out the two need for a good number 10, doesn't it? Yeah, if those two good midfielders, and, and I think see 4-2-3-1 four, four, uh, four, three, one and 4-3-3 three, three as our plan B, I think if you've got two good midfielders, and let's say that's Niguez and Pogba, then you can play 4-4-2. Four, four, Especially with the energy that's in that team. Haaland works hard, Rashford works hard, James works hard, Greenwood and, Mace, uh, and Martial don't, but... Like you, you allow it from players like that. You can have one of them play and not work hard if you're looking to do that. Niguez and Pogba, that's a. See, this is something midfield. I want to talk about. I think that's. I, I think we're getting into the territory of what we did to Berbatov here, and I think it's a little bit worrying for me. We started criticizing Berbatov when he was here because of we no, compared no, him to Tevez. It's the right tool for the right job. No, but I'm just, uh, and I, th I know you're not saying, but a lot of people have started, especially after Ryan Giggs's comments recently, and coming out saying Martial's lazy and you don't look at the <coughs> difference when Martial isn't in the team compared oh, yeah. to Rashford and all that and that's I actually I feel against Harland. Everton as well I come out I get, there was a game this season when I've been disappointed in his movement and he was poor and he's not been perfect but after the Everton game I actually thought he hasn't scored today we haven't really created a chance for him but his all round play impressed me because I thought He's not let his head drop. He's not got disappointed that the ball hasn't come his way or the chances haven't come. <coughs> and he's carried on what he was doing. And I thought he was linking everything up. And then to hear someone like Giggs come out and say that after, it did disappoint me to be fair, because I thought it was misrepresentative of, of what Martial did in that game. Um, and I know 
people who have their opinions and it's a weird one with Marseille it's kind of like one opinion some, you either have one good opinion of him or you have a bad opinion of him and the bad opinion stuck um, which I find because I think has been good this season I think there's uh I think we're better a, with him as well. There's a couple well. of sides. Well, of course, we, we are undoubtedly better with him. I'm just wondering if we can upgrade him for what we want to do. And I, I think Haaland might be that upgrade. And I think Solskjaer might think Haaland is that upgrade. And we ain't going to know until he's here. I think some of his hold-up play has been very impressive because his touch is fucking Velcro, isn't it? Mm. The ball comes into him and it stays into him. My question is whether he links it I think he maybe holds on to it a tad too long. He does an, an extra touch more. If he let it go a, tud, a tad earlier, I think we'd we'd probably see a better link up. Um, I think he could stay a bit further up the pitch. I don't think he's perfect, but who the fuck's perfect in our squad? There's a reason we're halfway down the mm. bastard table. Not even De Gea's perfect. Maguire ain't perfect. And people say, not so perfect. what would you say to people that say he hasn't perfect. improved since he's been here? I don't know about that because um, do you remember the word we got on Yanazai under Moyes? It was like, Go and join the game, son. Right, lads, here's the tactics. <laughs> Sometimes younger players get less responsibility. And I think because they have less responsibility, they look freer because they're just doing whatever comes natural to them. And I wonder, although I doubt it in a Louis van Gaal side because that was why Yanazai was out because he was like, right, here's what you need to do in the game. And he was like, okay. <laughs> so I, I, I doubt that Marshall had no responsibilities as a player, but it's I Belgium, wonder. But... Exactly. <laughs> I, I wonder if there was an element of he had less responsibilities at that time and it was just like you go play and you score some goals and then now as he's got a bit older they've gone we want this from you I don't I think parts of his game has improved Um, I think he can improve on part there's one thing about him I'd love to see him do more is shoot it's almost like we have to create the perfect chance for him and I think you see Greenwood's goal the other day picks it up turns shoots early doesn't he yeah and I think sometimes like Rashford will do that and it's like we know Mars has a very good finisher of it, so take more shots. He you likes to he pass could... it in though, doesn't yeah. he? Rather than to fucking wallop it in. Have you ever mm. seen him score a screamer? I don't think we've seen him score a screamer. Edge Stoke. of the box jab rather than a But he bent it, but it was quite a lot of power in it. I think it's it's a great not, his, move that. not his game. Uh, and I I find it I, I find it sad when people just expect headless chicken from people. Yeah, um, and like people um allowed fall on that for so long, but he offered nothing. He was up next to Rude Van Nistelrooy and you're like, well, that's the standard. Mm. And you ain't it. And then he went Atletico and become European Golden <laughs> And you're like... Mm, right player, wrong time. Maybe he wasn't a, as shit as we thought he was. Mm. Um, Pogba, will he be here? Will he play for United again? Yeah. Will he go in January? I think a deal might get agreed in January. Will he Will he play February? Will he be playing for Man United in February? Yes. I think, okay. I think. Um, again don't know will this. Haaland be playing for Man United in February um, that's it again I don't, I don't think so because I'm hearing some bollocks that we're going to loan him back don't their season finish early though does it I don't, like I, you're not going to be able to register him because our window is going to be closed unless yeah. you loan him and you register him as well and then you I don't know how that would work that's well complicated isn't it any wild <clears> card <throat> signings that you predict for January no um, I quite like Man Zuki off to. the cards now you think with this Haaland stuff yes I you, so, so you think we've gone from let's just focus on this long term deal Rupture. so if we don't get that over the line would they then wait for Haaland in the summer maybe Mandzukic is done <laughs> and that's why he's gone quiet maybe Mandzukic is Haaland is a small screen from Mandzukic <laughs> no maybe Mandzukic is coming to the end of the season because he's going back and it's a short term deal I don't know I don't know that all I know is that look if we manage to bring in let's say we brought in Saul and is that possible why do you keep bringing that up because I'm seeing a every lot time of that. I see it, I think, nah, no, it's not. Let's just, let's just put that away. Right. I haven't heard anything on Saul. I haven't heard anything on Pogba. I haven't heard anything on Haaland. I have heard a bit on Gomez and I've heard a bit on Sancho. Gomez? My gut feeling tells me he's gone. Look, all right, I'll tell you guys. There's, he's gone. there's, two, <laughs> there's two offers on the table. Um, I'm going to get these the wrong way around because I keep fucking this up. He's got. 55k off Barcelona on the table and 60 off United on the table. Or it might be 60 off Barcelona and 55 off United. I can't remember which Either way, it's is. close and he's got half there's not a lot in those it. two clubs. Yeah, I think he goes. And I think he looks fucking outrageously good in La Liga in that team. Yeah. So I think Gomez probably goes. Sancho? He loves Manchester, is the word. And he has got offers and it could be done in January. But 
there is others in the mix as well. Where he's going to go, only he he's knows. He's not going to go back to City, is he? Is that something <coughs> that's been no. fully... No, that's, that, that's gone. That's, uh, um, it, is Liverpool a real... I, there's been a I lot of talk know. about Mbappe, Sancho with Liverpool. I think they and... just got excited when they signed Nike and was like, was like, like, like everyone does, and it never happens. I don't know who but the other clubs are. We got excited about Pogba and we got out of there. Yeah, what happened there? I think, did sign. <laughs> I'm not going there. I think... Um, <laughs> I don't know who the other teams are. I know there's other teams and supposedly he's going to go where it offers the most money. But I don't know who the other teams are. And obviously, if I don't know who the other teams are, like what if one of them's Brighton? Well, you can probably rule it out, can't you? What if it's Barcelona? I don't think you could rule that out. Um, if it is Barcelona and Gomez does want to go Barcelona, is it two boys that are going to have a good old trip together? Is that a possibility? I don't think you could rule that out. Um, so I honestly don't know um, I think a bit like Haaland he wants to play and he wants to go where he's going to offer him the most money do you think does he want to be back up to Salah do you think does he want to be back up to Messi um, the Premier League like do you think with especially with <clears throat> Jaden being a young English talent do you think that lure of the coming back to the Premier League the big commercial deals you get with it the big finances back in the, I know he's in the England frame but you know what I mean being when you're at home with England, you're doing different things with If you're a £100 million pound Man United signing, you are big. You mm -hmm. are big, big. I think a lot of that will play into it. And I think he'll be looking at probably the deals Rashford's getting. You know, these other players and thinking... He could probably put a drop bag on that, couldn't he? Yeah, even Jesse Lingard, like, he's getting <laughs> deals and he'll probably be thinking, I'm out here in Germany, I'm not getting them. Yeah. Um, maybe if I go to England, yeah. that changes. Um, so I think that could come into it. But if Chelsea we... will be in there, surely. Not that I know of. But with Hudson and Doyle, that maybe not. With, um, I mean, that might have changed now. They've not got their ban. But um, if we brought in Saul, Sancho, and Haaland in January, which is so fucking unlikely, who says Saul? Bear. Is it like do Mendo Deportivo and all these? No, AS I, no, I don't think it's crazy ones. I think there's something in it. In whether or not it's that's not Don at it again. No. <laughs> but if we sign those. And then we brought in, say, a Madison in the summer. I think United Penguin would be an absolute... Madison. I think we'd be an absolute mare for people. Grealish or Madison? Madison. If we could sign those four players, and Haaland's obviously a Brexit signing because he was born in Leeds, so that counts still. Brexit Britain, eh? Um, obviously what a place. Saul's foreign, and he even sounds foreign, so they'd have to do something about that. Can't be signing foreign players since Brexit. You're mad. Yeah. <laughs> It's interesting what's going to happen to signings when Brexit comes in, isn't it? We don't even know, do we? We have we no have a, idea. Didn't we have, like, a year ago, we spoke to someone about it on this channel. Footy managers like, it must have changed so it. much now. Yeah. Basically, it's like, who fucking knows? Like, yeah. I'm probably going to Dublin in February, right? Do we need a visa? Not a fucking clue. I'm, I'm eligible for an Irish passport. I need to look into that. Get one. Get one. I need to us. look into that. <laughs> Cheers, Nan. Um, so, <coughs> we're signing Saul, Sancho, <laughs> and all that and Haaland all in the first that would be the, it'd be good to see some competence from the club though and even like just before January say right Haaland's coming in in January in February March right this guy's coming in summer it'd just feel good wouldn't it, it? would that would be from a PR point of view if the club did that because bad results you'd be like bothered we're going to be sick next year so if they did like February April May and announced all them coming in summer you'd be like oh, oh my god Will we're going to we fucking what the Glazers' true position is in these next two windows. Yeah, maybe. I found a... I was doing some research today and I found maybe a tweet about myself... Because we have been going on for a while. From, about myself. About Paul Pogba from myself in 2012, which was um, something about Pogba going, devoed. Um, is this the season that the Glazer debt really starts to take hold of the club? <laughs> I found a tweet from 2012 when we signed, re signed Pogba saying... Absolutely gutted we've let Paul Piper go guaranteed to be world class. And I was right. And now it feels like he might go just at the time when it would have felt perfect for us to have signed someone like that. Yeah. Like, you know, if we didn't get... We just rebuilt this team, signed him on top. I mean, yeah, if you'd have had... I mean, imagine a midfield of Saul... Pogba with Madison in front of him. What? Then. Saul keeps coming up. I know. I, so, I don't know. I don't, looks like it's it might be a load of bollocks. I, like I said, I haven't heard anything on. Can already see the better any of those. Saul. Yeah, T-shirts being made, them, being made and and sold outside Old Trafford. That'll be good. Um, Steve, um, thanks for joining us today. We'll do this again sometime. So get your questions and if you've got any for us in the comments below. Um, you're looking forward to January 20? You're looking to 2020? What would your New Year's resolution be for Manchester United? 
stop throwing leads away. Leads. Get tight. Yeah, no, leads. Have, get a clean sheet. How about that? Have a clean sheet. Hmm. I saw Duncan Castles having a go. We've uh, signed a new defender and uh, two new defenders and uh, not kept a clean sheet. Like, Jose's not going to shag you, mate. <laughs> Um, my gone. New Year's resolution is start tweeting about Spurs or something he's um, make United great again <laughs> in true Donald Trump fashion he's going to probably be gone soon as well isn't he? Um, for anyone who's an MMA could fan, be getting a president on, his, in the uh, January transfer window uh, nice <laughs> um, his little uh, plaything Colby Covington got knocked oh mate fuck out oh, how good was that <clears throat> that was that that was making America great again wasn't it and on that note Thank you for watching Full Time Devils. Thank you to Steve for joining us. Make sure you subscribe into his YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. I think it's youtube.com slash Steve House. And um, it is, isn't it? Something like that. I've remembered it. Oh, I'm good at that. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Full Time Devils. Like, comment, share. And um, if it's the last video you see on Full Time Devils before Christmas, have a great Christmas. If it's not, you're a real one. See you later. <laughs>